how to make more realistic drums with MIDI and virtual drums, coming up. Hello my friend, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, consider subscribe. My name is Jose Vélez from jvcreationstudio.com and today I have a fun tutorial about how can you make more realistic drums in your production with built drums and MIDI pattern. So there's many ways. One way is that you can have an electric drum. I have one, a Roland TD9. And sometimes I play it there. I'm not a drummer, but I, at least I keep basic pick. Or you can play it on the keyboard, which I sometimes do it as well. And the third one, that is the one that I've been using lately, is about finding MIDI pattern that are in your style and making blocks to collect them and making like a template for later you can use it and then you have your uh, couple of you know, section with verses, chorus, uh, bridge and uh, fills and then you just copy and paste and put it all together. Let me show you what I mean and I have a Studio One and Reason open so I can show you in uh, different programs because there's many DAWs so use what you have, make it the best. So. This is Studio One, and this is the drum that is coming with Studio One. And I made my own samples, finding it in the library, combining them together. And this is how it came with room sounds and, and all the stuff. Later, if you want to know more about how I'm making the drum, there's uh, I use Addicted Drum, so I, I'm not do it anymore I buy them and I use recent drums let me show you here in studio one quickly but I'm gonna be using mainly recent but this is just to show you here I have a couple of samples uh, midis that I found here I have some uh, fills and here are other beats you find midi sample either on the internet or you buy it and then just go and drop your style let's see this is contemporary and then let's take a listen already have a fill so you can cut that out and then use it and put it in your section of fields so this is what I do I use I open a couple of track and then I do my fields and then I, I put bridge chorus and all the stuff so let me go back to reason because I'm gonna be doing more reason I have a song that I'm gonna show you later uh, with this technique that I did here is my template in in reason one I have a couple of templates I have this one for 120 and I have another one for 75 more slow ballad that I've been collecting and making adjustment and then you start building your drum in the top so let's listen here And here I have fill, so so there I have a fill. And this way I can start building uh, my song around that. See, I have the birds, the chords, the bridge, and all the stuff, fills and everything. So one way I open a new channel over there and I find if I am in Reason, I'm gonna go to my Reason drum kit because they already have samples. If you have that library, and you see by star, pop, rock, and other styles, 
urban so let me go to the rock one and i'm gonna get this one and see how it look how it sound and then i'm just gonna start cutting this around and using what i need and put it in place for later use see if they have filled let me take a listen so this is from the recent kit drum refund so sound good let me see this part <laughs> so they already uh, made the job for you you just have to find the place and locator where to put it see i have plenty here so i i do a lot of a b comparison to find my fields and everything but i already have you know a couple of field the bridge and everything i just have to take a listen and start cutting and pasting and making it all, all together see and move around with the song so and in later i will be doing a tutorial where i used to drunk and because this they have here a big library that you can use and, and midi then you can just drop and use and this is gonna be a midi just take it and dropping and you're ready to go but let me show you what I mean with the song so this is what it was look like in the beginning of the song with my template and I was building the song with just finding my pattern and then copy and paste let me go to the chorus here let me go to the bridge That's the only acoustic guitar, and I was building the drums. See, didn't have any more, but I started like that. Okay, let me show you now the final song. This is the final song with with the drums over here because then I I was deleting all the extra part. And let's take a listen, enjoy. see how great it's the sound because it's a built drum that I was using from reason this is from the art drum uh, refill package uh, from Ryan Green that sounds incredible let me put it in solo ready with the Q with the compressor so you just have to do you know laying down and making uh, finding the best uh, that it will be matching so you have to do the work first little by little it will be there you go find the loop and and divide couple of you know bridge 
chorus and the beginning, the intro, the, the feels, and then little by little make your way to the song. And it, it once you get used to them, you're gonna start uh, working quickly. And I suggest like making, I did one for, you know, pop rock, and then I did one for ballad, and another one for medium, uh, classic rock or something like that. And just make your style and then it's gonna make your life easy. So um, please, if you like this content, smash the like, subscribe, hit the bell for notification. So for when I'm going live, you can see me and ask questions. So thank you so much for being with me in this journey. And remember, release a new sound. This is side of you. Bye.